Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Dana. On this channel, we are all about SMS beauty, which means skincare, makeup, sunscreen. And today I've actually done quite a few videos on sunscreen, which is, you know, my one true love. But I thought I would break it up for my own sanity and not have to wash my face again and do some makeup. I did this makeup look yesterday and I did a reel on it, which I will be posting soon. And I freaking, freaking loved it. Um, so I thought, why not come on, do a little get ready with me. And this is the most like everyday, no makeup makeup look. And I wanted to just do it and let you guys see it. And I think it's perfect for spring as well. So let's get into it. So I've already put my base on, which would be here. And if I'm looking a little tan, it's because A, I did go to Florida. So like my body is tanner. Um, my face was very pale, so I used this U-Tan self tanner. Why did that take? So I do have self tanner on my face. That's why it's darker. And then I also use the nude sticks, nude screen combo, which if the video is up, I will link it above. And that's why maybe my face looks tanner, but this is a really good option for no makeup makeup days because you basically are just using a tinted sunscreen, like what I did to kind of make it like makeup. <laughs> that's not a word, is it? Um, but yes, it is. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a little bit of concealer to basically just like brighten up some areas. My eyelids are always just, they're red, they're veiny, they're not really particularly pretty in my opinion. So I always cover them and that doesn't mean that I'm gonna wear eyeshadow, but it's kind of like, I feel like it just makes me look more awake, more alive. So. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer and I have the shade 32. I really haven't been reaching for much else since I bought that. So I have been really into beauty sponges lately, which is very atypical for me because I used to really just use my hands, but I think it's because I found a sponge that I really like and I don't feel like, I don't know, there's just, it works really well. It kind of takes product up that's if you have too much and it's just quick and easy, so but that's pretty much it. And if you do feel like your face is maybe too dark, like mine, questionable, right? It's because I have that sunscreen and the self tan on. So just use your concealer, almost not as like a concealer, but like to brighten certain areas. And I'm running around town today. I don't have to have like a nice full beat. Not that I ever do that. like. If you're on this channel looking for a full beat, I don't know why. <laughs> so I just use it on the areas that I know maybe are feeling a little darker. And there we have it. Now I'm not gonna powder at all today just because again, I'm just wearing sunscreen. I'm gonna probably work out later. I don't really care. It's gonna be like a no makeup makeup look. And normally this would take me about five or 10 minutes if I wasn't talking through it. But the next thing that we're gonna use is a blush and the brand that i have kind of been like using a lot lately for this look it it makes sense it's merit merit beauty um and i have two of their blush shades i have the terracotta and then beverly hills i wore this yesterday in the reel that i did and this can double as your bronzer today i already have kind of like a little bit of a bronze look so i don't need that so i'm going to go in with this shade and you can kind of make this work for you how you will. I tend to just use my fingers because I don't mind that. But this is a very, very, very sheer wash of blush. Like not, not, not a lot. Um, some people go in with a brush. I feel like since it has so little and it doesn't kind of last very long. I mean, it lasts, but not all day. It's not the blush you're gonna use if you need to like go to a party at night. I feel like my fingers kind of just give me a little bit more pigment, which is what I want versus a brush. But then if you need to kind of like get the areas, just go in like that. And it kind of has a, like a little bit of a glow to it, but not super, super glowy. There, just a little bit of flush on the color, on the cheeks. I'm gonna set my eyelids just because, you know, I do have sunscreen and then a concealer. So I just want to set that with powder just so it doesn't crease. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush. I always say that Airbrush Flawless Finished because it does have pigment. I have the shade 4-2. Why did I think 4? 
it has a bit of pigment so I kind of like that to just make sure like everything is canceled out on my lids and that is one of the biggest tips for me if you just want to look like you're put together but not really have makeup on just make sure your eyes are bare like as bare as possible like no shadow and but cover up any redness if you do have it that's for me like I can see the noticeable difference then I go in with the Merit Beauty lengthening mascara and this only comes in the shade black which is okay it has a traditional wand this was featured not featured but I put it in my um, tubing mascara video the big one I'll link it here it's not really a tubing mascara I don't know why they call it that but I don't hate it I don't hate it at all I I really only wear it and like it for days like today where I really could go without mascara but this is like the next best option. To me, it gives me really wispy, kind of like fluttery, do, does she have mascara on kind of look? So that's what I go for. And I really apply it gently. I'm not trying to build it up. I'm just trying to coat each lash. Okay, there it is. As you can see, just lightest, flutteriest. Like, this wouldn't look great on camera because on camera, you know, it's just like stage lighting, stage makeup. You need it to be more pronounced. But this is so nice for every day, just going out on town, but like going to run errands. So I'm gonna apply the other and then we'll come back. Look at that. Ah! So I really didn't to be honest, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was not the biggest fan of this until I realized it's not my everyday, like reaching for, I need it in my bag. It's for these days, like at least for me. But if this is something you want, like the really like fluttery soft lashes, and you can build it up a little, but I think it, I really do feel like this is at its best. Like this is how it's meant to be. So once I realized that, I was like, oh, I actually do really like it. I was just trying to like fit a round peg into a square hole type thing. So once I got it, then I liked it. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty much almost done. I know this video is gonna be like 15, 17 minutes long for something that actually takes no time at all, but your girl likes to talk. So next up, um, I don't always use these, but sometimes these are the, what are they called? Highlighting Balm by Merit. And I have two shades. I have Kava, which is, let's see if I can swatch them for you. They're not gonna come up on swatches. Um, <laughs> not at all. That's Kava, more of a champagne. And then Bounce, which is a little bit more of a rose gold. They're so minimal that you really, it's not so much, like you're not gonna notice the color as much, but maybe on a lighter skin tone you would. But I'm gonna use the Bounce shade and we're just gonna, put a little bounce to my face. <laughs> but I am quite glowy already. The blush has given me a nice glow, the sunscreen has given me a nice glow, so I don't need a lot. And this is really just a wet kind of moisturizer look. So look at that, I look like I just ate a corn cob full of butter and oil. <laughs> do I want it on my chin? Probably not. Why did I do that? But this is a good one if you want to like keep it in your makeup bag because it does come in a really compact style. And if maybe you tend to get a little bit matte through the day and you wanna like add just a little bit of glow, it's very, very easy. And it doesn't feel like anything on your face. Okay, next up I'm gonna use this new Refi lip liner and line my lips. You don't need to do this at all. I've just been kind of testing it out because it's brand new, but I'm gonna put it on. And this is almost the same shade as my natural lips, so that's kind of nice. Do you want to know a fun story? Maybe I shouldn't tell the story while I'm lining my lips, though. I think it's, I was down in Florida where, of course, it's like a little bit warmer. And then I came back and all of a sudden my lips just were like not having it. They got very, very dry. And me being the person that I am, I decided to like pick at them and I picked at a piece right there. Oh, 
ouch, like ripped the skin off. So it looks like I have like a cold sore. It's actually just skin that's been broken off, which is really, really sexy and beautiful. And I'm not proud of it. Um, I'm gonna just kind of shear this out. It looks a bit darker on camera than it really is. It's really just like the shade of my lips. And next up, very, you know, I think these are what got me back into Merit because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a second try. I have a dedicated video to Merit. And by the way, I should have mentioned this in the beginning and I'll go back and add it, but all of these products were kindly, kindly gifted to me. This is not a sponsored video in any sort of way, but all of these Merit beauty products were gifted. I did not purchase any of them, but I don't have to post if I don't want to. <laughs> so anyway, I got these new signature lip um, lipsticks and they kind of brought me back into the Merit Beauty game, especially with the mascara and like realizing that this is the perfect no makeup makeup. So I'm gonna swatch both of these and I'm gonna apply both of them to my lips so you can see what they look like. I'll start off with Slip. This is um, a more brown neutrally color and I will swatch. Okay, so this is Millennial and this is Slip. Slip has like a little bit more of a brown shade to it and then millennial, it's supposed to be like millennial pink. I've been gravitating toward millennial, but I'm going to I'm going to put them both on my lips so you can see what they look like. Whoa, that's dark. I think it's with the lip liner. A very 90s brown though. So, I'm going to take the lip liner and the mask or the lipstick off and I want to try it. I'm going to show you what it looks like just alone without the lip liner because I do think the lip liner is kind of like influencing it. And the goal, I was testing that out, but I kind of don't love it. So let's try it again. All right, my lips are bare. I'm gonna put this on. There we go. So it's definitely more of a brown, obviously, like, I think if you like browns, this is actually like a really neutral brown shade. And the beauty with this lipstick, which I will talk about more when I put Millennial on, is it's like so easy to wear. You can just put it on. You don't even need a mirror really because it doesn't, it's not too pigmented where like you really have to be careful, but it's not so sheer that you get nothing. And then it also has the perfect combination of not being too oily and slippy and not being too matte. And I spoke about that in a reel, in my reel, but it's just this really perfect combination. It lasts really well on my lips. I can reapply it throughout the day, not reapply it. You know, like, it's just like exactly what Merit is trying to do, make it no makeup makeup. So this is the brown. Brown's not really my shade, but I thought, hey, why not? But now let's put on the shade that is my shade. This is Millennial, and the, un the other shade that I did want was Baby, and they were sold out, so I couldn't get that. But do you see what I'm saying? Like, I can talk and put this lipstick on. That's why I like it. Look at that! Mmm. That shade. It's like, kind of my nude, but like my pink nude. It's so perfect. I really, really love the shade. I like because I'm not a huge lipstick wearer. So I like something that, that gives me the look that I have something on, but not like, oh yeah, she's wearing lipstick. Like, this is perfect. This is my perfect shade. I love it. So that's about it. Um, I did want to show you, I also have their, um, what is it called? Tinted lip oil. And I have three shades of this. This is the shade Marrakesh. This kind of goes really well with the Millennial. So it's kind of like a berry and you can just throw it on easily. The only thing with the lip oils, I do like them, but I drink so much water and like I'm constantly eating <laughs> that I feel like they just come off my lips. So I prefer the, the signature lip to the lip oil, but if you want a lip oil that goes really well and has beautiful shades, their lip oils are to die for. So uh, that's the look. All right guys, that's the look. It's easy, breezy, natural. I didn't even do anything to my brows. I would probably just go in with a 24 hour brow setter, but not fill them in at all. I have my brows microbladed, but like for a natural makeup look, just like throw a little brow gel, fluff them up, easy. Keep it simple. So 
I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go to the farmer's market and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!